Hello, I'm Patrick with DOS Gaming News. The fact that Xenomax is suing Oculus may be old news to some, but it seems as though the lawsuit has recently taken a few very unexpected turns. Xenomax has now doubled down and added an amended complaint to the lawsuit. In the complaint, which alleges multiple potential unlawful acts, Oculus CEO Brendan Irby, ID Software co-founder John Carmack, and Oculus parent company Facebook are all named as transgressors. The amended complaint claims that former Xenomax employee and now current Oculus Chief Technology Officer John Carmack misappropriated Xenomax property. A quote from the complaint reads as follows. Instead of complying with his contract, during his last days at Xenomax, he copied thousands of documents from a computer at Xenomax to a USB storage device. He never returned those files or all copies of them after his employment with Xenomax was terminated. In addition, after Carmack's employment with Xenomax was terminated, he returned to Xenomax premises to take a customized tool for developing VR technology belonging to Xenomax. That, itself, is part of Xenomax VR technology. The amendment also claims that Oculus Rift inventor Peter Lucky increasingly held himself out to the media and the public as the visionary developer of the Rift's VR technology, which had actually been developed by Xenomax without Lucky's involvement. The amendment goes on to state, that Lucky lacked the training, expertise, resources, or know-how to create a commercially viable VR technology. His computer programming skills were rudimentary, and he relied on Xenomax computer program code and games to demonstrate the prototype Rift. Furthermore, it is stated that on May 21, 2014, Xenomax filed suit against Oculus and Palmer Lucky in order to retain compensation for the unlawful use of its intellectual property. Facebook was provided by Oculus a copy of a non-disclosure agreement signed by Mr. Lucky, in which Lucky accepted that he would not share Xenomax proprietary information without express permission and that disclosure would be limited to directors, officers, employees, or attorneys with clear need to know. Xenomax asserts that once Lucky signed the non-disclosure agreement, Oculus by extension was also bound. Therefore, once Facebook acquired Oculus, it too was bound by the same NDA. The complaint goes on to allege that neither Facebook nor Oculus complied, and therefore Facebook interfered with a direct executed contract. As a result of these alleged actions, Xenomax is demanding a jury trial. For more gaming news and content, subscribe to DOS Gaming Network. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a great day, week, year, everything.